James Mel and this James a tech guy. This is about Canva managing your content. Stay tuned. Please give a like, subscribe to this channel. What I mean by managing your content specifically is there's a limited amount of space. No matter who you are in the Canva community, though Canva free has a limit of five gigabytes, Canva Pro, Teams, as well as for education and for nonprofit, have a one terabyte space limitation. And especially if you have one terabyte, you might not think you need to do much with it. But I'm gonna suggest you should be very careful with that because especially when you need to produce something very quickly and you're maxed out, you're gonna to have to spend time to delete that material. So many people love Canva. I use Canva quite a bit and it's one tool where I do find I need to actively manage it. So I schedule in time. I'd rather not do that if I didn't have to. I wish there was a quick way to manage that content. And so obviously you know what you need to keep or what you don't need to keep. I do know I create a lot of YouTube shorts, so therefore I can get rid of most of that content because I saved it elsewhere. So what I do is I start on projects, select projects, and then there are your projects. Here is one way to look at specific areas. I tend to just quickly go to videos. So I know immediately what I can get rid of and what I can't. This is a template that I created from scratch. I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna get rid of everything else. There's no keyboard shortcut to select all of these. So you have to do this manually. And then I'll send this to the trash right now. Can't be restored in 30 days, so I know that I'm not towards my limit. I'm just going to let this handle in the 30 day process. If I feel like I'm towards the end of my space limitation, I might take some action and delete each of those. Again, that's pretty time consuming, so I'm going to say if you have the time, you should consider doing it. If you don't, don't do that. Nine items moved to trash again. We have 30 days to maybe we change our mind, maybe we need to do that. Sometimes it's not a luxury, even at one terabyte. So that's something to keep in mind is to keep an active view on that. Also, I can look at images. Is there things that I can get rid of? And are there things that I can't get rid of? So I look here at these images and realize there's a lot of things that I don't need. I might just casually go through this and see what I can get rid of very, very quickly and uh, not spend a lot of time doing this. So one thing I wanna call your attention to, you're probably aware of this already, but this is something, it is related to content management. So I'm on a Canva free tier. Now this is a Canva Pro image. And so one thing that, for example, I've been on Canva Pro, converted back to Canva free and go back and forth sometimes. So I do like that Canva puts up that this is Canva because it's part of Canva Pro. In the old days, you could actually just click down and not realize, oh wow, I got a bill and it's for 30 downloads I did. I didn't realize what was Pro versus non-pro so it's not grandfathered in if you are a canva pro user when you created this and you downloaded it before it is part of canva pro and you can only use this in terms of having that particular license to pay for that you can download this one time for a one dollar charge or you can join canva pro so in this example i don't need this and i'm just going to take this out because i no longer need this particular image i feel just fine in just deleting this now, here is a peculiarity that I do find in Canva. So, for example, you're towards, you know, maxing out five gigabytes or even one terabyte. Now you've run out of space and you need to quickly go through trash, for example, and to delete more out of here. There's no keyboard shortcut, so you're going to have to do this individually and it's all manual. So delete permanently. Yes, I want to delete permanently. And it would be nice if there's one functionality to do that. And I think that's a shortcoming in terms of what Canva, this is a conscious decision. There is no way that product management at Canva does not know that. But what if you're at the one terabyte already? That's not very helpful, especially because you're paying for it. So there should be a tool to operate this much more quickly and to delete those items you do not need any longer. If you're a casual user, you may not want to do this that often. Maybe do it once every quarter, maybe do it once half a year but I use this constantly. So I have to schedule time in on a bi-weekly basis to making sure that I've eliminated those videos or that content that I no longer need. Now, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, please give a like, subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next tech topic. James Mel Endis, James, a tech guy.